Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google has just rolled out Chrome version 142, which is now the latest version upgrade. And as thought and as expected, the inevitable has happened and Google has now removed all the experimental flags that were necessary to enable MV2 extensions, including uBlock Origin. So if I click on temporarily unexpire M141 flags, enable that, relaunch the browser. And if we enter MV2, nothing appears. So the experimental flags do not work anymore, which was expected. And that's how I showed you how you could enable uBlock Origin and MV2 extensions when version 140 rolled out. Now with 142, as we can see, that is not working. But the good news is you can still enable uBlock Origin and other MV2 extensions using a command line flag, which is different to an experimental fl flag in Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now I did post on using a command line flag at the beginning of the month, which helped a good couple of folks out. But unfortunately with 142, we need an extra step. So Google has made it just a little bit more difficult. That's why I'm just posting a whole new video just to keep us all on the same page. Now, if we head into our Manage Extensions page, yeah, you can see if you have uBlock Origin installed with 142, even with developer mode, nothing happens as shown. And so that's been disabled by Google. But if we use this command line flag, which I'll leave in the description because that's quite a mouthful, and we enable developer mode, this will still work. So what you would do is you would just copy all of this. It'll be in the description as mentioned. And then you'd head over to any shortcut of Google Chrome, be that on your taskbar, start menu, desktop, whatever. You'd right click on that shortcut, click on properties, and in the target, head right to the right hand side, to the last entry of that target, leave a space, and then enter and paste that flag. And then just double check you've left a space. Yes, I've left a space because if that space is not between the last entry in the target and your flag you've pasted in, this will not work. You would then click on apply, click on OK, and then you would relaunch Google Chrome to apply that command line flag. Head back to your extensions page and yeah, you can see uBlock is working. But as mentioned, when I showed you using the command line flag at the beginning of the month, it would work without using developer mode. But now you have to toggle on developer mode, else this will not work. And there we go, uBlock Origin, and there we've got uBlock Origin working. I just want to test it out using a page just to see that everything is getting blocked. And there we go. Everything is working with uBlock Origin. So that works. So that's if you have the extension already installed. Now, if you don't, now, if you don't have the extension already installed, so I'm going to remove it just for the purpose of this video, then you follow the steps, use the command line flag, restart the browser, and then what you would do now, just like we have done in previous videos, you would enable developer mode again, head over to load unpacked, and then you would head over to GitHub, and I'll leave, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can head to GitHub and download uBlock, the latest version. I'm using 1.66. I think that's the latest version. I haven't checked recently, but nonetheless, I'll leave the link for uBlock in the description. And then you would download it from GitHub to your local drive. You would, and then what you would do is you would have to extract the folder because it's downloaded as a zip folder. Extract it, and then you'll see uBlock, in this case 1.66, that's not what that's not the folder you want to import. You need to double click on that and then you need to import uBlock 0 Chromium. Because if you do the first folder, this will not work. You need to do the second folder. Click on that, select folder, and there we go. There's my extension. And just take note though, it won't work if you turn off developer mode. So you have to have developer mode turned on. And that's how you can install uBlock Origin 
with Chrome version 142. And obviously, guys, I think it's only a matter of time before all workarounds are removed. But at the time of posting this video, 29 October 2025, the workaround, what I've showed you in this video, still works. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.